Hello everybody, welcome back to GK Plays Final Fantasy 7. First and foremost, uh, we I do apologise if the energy was a bit low in the last uh, episode. I've been suffering really badly with my hay fever and uh, it's really not the stuffing out of me. So I do apologise if the energy was low and I do apologise for missing the... Um, the boss fight as well. I got the first bit and I got the victory screen, but I didn't get anything um, in between. So I do apologise for that. That won't happen again. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to continue. In the last episode, we escaped from Don Corneo and uh, the Shinra, and we ended up at Eris' house. Cloud, wasn't it? It's about Eris, isn't it? I'm sorry, the Shinra have her. I know, they took her from here. They were here? That's what Eris wanted. Why is the Shinra after Eris? Eris is an ancient, the sole survivor. What did you say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. Oh, it must have been 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front, some faraway place called Wutai. One day, I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. Oh, there's Biggs and Jesse there, look. This music is absolutely stunning. It really is. Oh, they're all coming home. Except her husband. Hmm. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. No, I'm sure his leave was just cancelled. I went to the station every day. Then, one day... You used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words, please take Eris somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child, I was lonely, so I decided to take her home with me. Eris and I became close very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. She told me how she escaped from some sort of research laboratory, and that her mother had already returned to the planet, so she wasn't lonely. Many other things. Return to the planet? I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant a star in the sky, but she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Please don't cry. Eris just blurted that out all of a sudden. When I asked her if something happened, someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you, but he's already returned to the planet. At that time, I didn't believe her. But several days later, we received a notice saying my husband had died. And that was it. A lot had happened, but we were happy. Until one day. We want you to return Ares to us. We've been searching for her for a long time. You're a very special child. You're of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. At that moment, I found out she was an ancient. The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Ares will be able to bring happiness to those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Ares' cooperation. He's wrong. I'm not an ancient. 
But Ares, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone. No, I don't. Damn. They were after her from a really young age. But I knew. I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I never noticed. It's amazing how she's avoided the Shinra for all these years. The Shinra need her, I guess they wouldn't harm her. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. Sung found them on the way here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. She decided to go to the Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. Yeah, that'll be Marlene. Aeris was caught because of Marlene. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father? How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about what might happen to Marlene if I... But you got to understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but i got to fight. Because if I don't, the planet's going to die. So I'm going to keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of her. I want to be with her, just always. See, I'm going in circles now. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs asleep. Why don't you go see her? It's my fault. I was the one who got Eris involved in this. Eris doesn't think so. Okay, let's see how Barrett's getting on. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're alright. Don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Aww. Oh. Cloud, you're going to help Harris, right? She's done so much for me. If the Shinra involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. Harris asked me lots of questions, like what kind of person Cloud is. I bet she likes you, Cloud. I don't know. Dummy. <laughs> this is a typical child. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be going after the Shinra then. You're going after Harris. Of course. I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shinra headquarters. You've got to be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I feel I have to push myself to the limit. If I stayed here, I'd go crazy. God, here comes Barrett. Sorry, but can you take care of Marlene a, li a little bit longer? This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere else. Promise me you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. I mean, we'll try. How do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Let's go to Wall Market. We might be able to find something there. Damn straight. So we're going to the Wall Market. Sorry, that was a lot of story there. Again, if I was more confident with voices, I'd do voices, but I'm just not a voice artist at all, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, let's go through here. I think wall market's this way. No, we can't, yeah. That's a nice change. Okay. So wall market was on the right here, if you remember. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Now we need to go right to the top of uh, wall market. Want to see something awesome? Follow me. Okay. Everyone climb up this wire. It looks scary. Can we climb it? Yeah, at least to the upper world. There's no way we can do this. You know how far up it goes? There is a way. Look. What's that look like? It's just a wire. Oh yeah? Well, that looks like a golden shiny wire of hope. And the kid's like, whatever. <laughs> You're right. This is the only way to save Ares. That was a bad analogy, but Barrett, I understand how you feel. Let's go. Right, well, before we go anywhere, again, this is what previous um, previous knowledge does for you. 
Uh, we need to see the machine gun. Oh no, there's the shop. It's just here. Okay, let's make sure we're equipped for a start. We'll get the mithril rod for when we get Ares back. I'm guessing we are going to get her back at some point. Uh, we'll get three of those. We'll speak to this chap. You better have batteries. You're going to sell me something you just found? Hey, you knew? I repaired them, so it's alright. And you'll find out when you get there. Okay, so we got enough batteries to get us to the top. And now we just need to equip ourselves and get up the... Uh, get, get, get saved, because um, probably not going to get a chance to save for a little while. Uh, we're going to go straight into Shinra HQ by the looks of things. And we haven't had another another weapon for clouds yet. Uh, equip. Metal knuckle. Mithril armlet. Assault gun and mithril armlet. And no accessories. No material to equip. Okay. <sighs> Actually, I might go to the inn. Is this, is this the item shop that's broken? Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay here, get some rest. Because that'll be a full heal all around. And then we'll save, and then uh, then we're going to go up the uh, up the wire. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. We're actually quite near the end of the Midgar section, to be completely honest. We're not far away at all. Um. <clears throat> Midgar in the remake is the entire game, whereas, as you see, it's a full heal there. Whereas in this game, it's literally about... I always do that. It's literally about four hours. Like, maybe. Like, of in-game time, and we're at two and a half, and we're more or less there, so... Another hour or so, we're probably going to be done with Midgar. Actually, is that the material shop there? Yeah. Okay. I want to get some fire uh, material because we that's the one element we don't have yet. Um, yeah, we'll give him fire because everyone else has a, an attack magic. And it means that if he's ever, like, slowed or... Well, not slow, but, like... If he's ever stopped from uh, you doing physical attacks for whatever reason, like for coming against a ghost, for instance, at least we can do something about it. All right, let's get out of here. I love the music here. I love the graffiti as well, it's quite cool. Love this music, it's like proper like on a mission music. Okay, this is where you're gonna need the batteries. Now, I don't believe there's an encounter rate right up here, so don't worry too much about that, but, um... Yeah, maybe if I put a battery in, the propeller might work. Okay, so that's provided us with a new path. There's no way that shopkeeper knew that that propeller was going to stop like that, but we'll go with it. Ah, damn it. Oh, this bit is so frustrating. Yeah, jump on that bar, yeah. This is literally the worst bit of the, pretty much the whole game. So frustrating. Ah! Oh, really? I got that really quickly. Normally I get that, and I'm on it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> so we got really lucky. 
Now, there is a battery over there, but you don't have to grab it. It's for an item box. I don't think you have to get it. You can if you want to, but... Oh, maybe we do need... No, we don't, know. Like I said, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. Oh. There it is. Oh, damn, they've all got the weapons out ready. Oh, there's a safe point there, dummy. You all know this building well. Not really, now that I think about it. This is the first time I've actually been to the headquarters. I've heard about this place before. Every floor above the 60th is special and not easy to get to, even for employees. That must be where they took Aeris. The security's pretty light now. Let's go. Wait a second, you're not thinking of just go running right through the main entrance, are you? Well, what else did it look like? I'm gonna kick some Shinra butt and that's not going to work. We have to find another way. Ain't gonna be no other way. If we keep wasting time like this, Aeris will... I know that, but if we get caught here, what should we do? So I always like to sneak in quietly. See, let's be careful to find a different route. Okay. Alright, I'm going to save one more time because... No, 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 no. Like I said, I think this is the last t chance you're going to get for a while. So don't go through the main entrance. You can if you want to, but it will cause a lot of commotion. However, if you go this way... You can climb the stairs. You really gonna take these stairs all the way up? Well, I've got to get Ares to help. Go get to Ares to help us somehow. I've all. We don't have time to argue. Let's keep going. Oh, some some of the, it's worth doing. It's boring, but it's worth it just for the commentary. Like in the remake, uh, Barrett just comes out with some of the best lines. It does take a little while though, so if you want to skip ahead, I completely appreciate it, but. Like I say, stick around for the commentary. It's quite funny. Don't know why the hell we gotta climb. Because we don't want to start a commotion until after we've saved Ares. If that's possible. <laughs> Knock it off. You give me the creeps. So even you will fight for someone else. Guess I figured you wrong. Who cares what you figured? I'm just saying, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Tifa? How much farther do these stairs go on? Why don't you ask them? <laughs> it's not one of them endless stairways or something, is it? Of course not. Right. Couldn't be that. Ah! Are we there yet? Not yet. there yet? I said, not yet. Yo. Look, don't even ask. We're way, way, way... I didn't even get the rest of that. Oh, we got the elixir for our trouble. That's nice. Yeah, it's worth it. it it's kind of worth it for the commentary and the elixir, I guess. Damn, man, I've had it. I'm going back. It'll take just as long to go down as it did to come up. That's a fair point. Gotta be almost there by now. I don't think it's so far ahead. Come on, Barrett, pull it together. Yeah, well, all I know is I'm only flesh and blood, except for this armor mine. 
don't treat me like I'm some ex-soldier or something. What about me? I'm human too. I'll do what you want. I'm going on. Oh dear. Domestic. Barrett, you go first. What are you, ignorant? I didn't mean that. Alright, all right. what is going on? Cloud, you go on ahead too. Okay. Any particular reason? Ah, uh, really? What floor is this? I stopped counting. Why are they going to build these buildings so damn tall? That's Shinra, they're just no damn good. Man, I'm beat. Marlene, Daddy wanted to see your face one more time. Would you stop acting like a retard and climb? <laughs> you can't say that anymore. You cannot say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot that comment was in there. Ah, finally. <sighs> finally. <sighs> Made it. Never want to see no more stairs for the rest of my life. I'm beat, but we're here. Better get ready. Yeah, it's worth it just for the commentary, like I say. Destroy the intruders. Okay. Well, that's the commotion caused. Oh yeah, these guys are a pain. So these guys are like two stages. They, um... Yeah, they have the armor and then they become these like sort of roller skate things. They become a lot more dangerous when they're in that state. So you're better off just getting rid. Should finish it. Yeah, we go. We've got the bombing mission music back as well, which is quite nice. Ooh, agonizingly close to another level for Barrett. What's this? Keycard 60. We can get to level 60 now. Off we go. This is the real thing. Don't let your guard down. I do hope Ares is alright. Okay, we're there. Oh, you useless, Mr. Security Man. Useless. This is one of those shots that you only get, like, once per game, so uh, that's quite cool. Okay, what are you? You kind of belong here. Go on, get out. Okay, this is an interesting part, part of the um, mission, actually. Look at all them guards running around. You go on ahead and signal us when it's safe to move. Okay, so you got to hide behind these statues. And you can only move when the guards are looking away, otherwise they're going to catch you and you have to go back to the start. Now, this is the annoying bit, because you've got to guide them over as well. So... This one's not too bad, it's the, it's the next one that's hard. Come on. There we go. 
Because the pattern is very different. And they do cross over quite a bit. Oh, great. Okay, I'm going to uh, speed through this one. Cool. We might have to start from the beginning. I'm not sure. Yeah. The hell are you doing, man? You gotta do it again. Yeah, it is quite tricky, this, at times. You can't even speed it up because obviously then re your reactions have to be like twice as quick. Or three times as quick because it's times three, isn't it? So. Okay. Oh, really? Sorry, guys. I'm usually really good at this. Just slow it down for Tifa's limit break. On the plus side, we're getting some good experience, so that's always a that's always a plus. Somersault, there you go. Got our next limit break. Control of these guys is easy. It's the it's 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 Cloud that's the hard bit. <laughs> okay. There we go. Finally. Okay, we got a rock. Remember, we're here to save Ares. Hell, I know that. Okay. Now, this door's open, so we can actually talk about it. We can go, go around and talk to people here. I don't remember you seen your face before. You're new here? Say, so, you're cute. Let me teach you some things. I was only going to teach you how to get to the next floor. The higher ups in the company use can, can the higher ups in the company use the floors above the sixtieth floor. You can't get in there without a key card. Get a key card, you can use the elevators freely. Voila! Hear that sound? The door will open. Just remember there are different types of cards. One card won't let you go anywhere. For example, key card sixty only takes you to the sixtieth floor, key card sixty five only takes you to the sixty fifth floor. It's a security system worthy of Shinra, after all. They control everything in Midgar and the world for that matter. Gotta get back to work. Okay. Did she forget her key card? Even employees can't access floors above the 60th with their key card. Yeah, we already know this. This is the lounge floor. Above us are the special floors that come for the company bigwigs. It's tough working under someone. It wears you out. Hmm. I thought I had a ruckus downstairs a minute ago. Do you know what all that was about? No idea. But no need to worry because everything above the 60th floor is safe. Oh, okay, it's the same conversation. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy, and then we'll just go on above. How are you? What are you doing around here? Where's Eris? Eris, how did you know that name? You must be... You mean the kid receptionist? I was starting to worry about her too. And so another rival appears on the scene. You mean she's not? It's someone else? Oh, I see. You must be that, what you call it, Shinra Inc. Repair Division. You know, this building looks like it's starting to fall apart. 
this door was just pushed open. You ought to fix this right away. Oh, yeah, take a look at the other floors, too. Here, take this. Nice. So we got a key card 62. No, 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 no. Excellent. All right, let's have a mooch. How do you do? This is Mega Mayor's office. The Mayor Domino is in his office. I'm the Deputy Mayor. Should you have any questions, feel free to ask. No, I need to speak to the bigwig. Oh, and who might you be? You must be those... Um, me? I'm Domino, the Mayor of Midgar. Actually, I'm the Mayor in name only. The Shinra and everything in it is really run by Shinra. The only real job is watching over Shinra's documents. Me, the Mayor, a librarian. You want to get upstairs? I'll tell you what. If you can guess the password, I'll give you my keycard. That's it. Guess the password and I'll give you my card. Get it on the first try and I'll even throw in a special item. Okay. Got it? Then tell me. Oh, okay, fine. So we've got to go find this out. And the way you find out is via the library. So, um... Okay, so to do this, we need to... Let's just double check I was right. I've got my notes from, like, 20 years ago. So, go to the Space Development Research Library. you got to go to the middle shelf. Breakdown of soldier members by class. So... There, there are multiple answers here, and it's always random. So, on this occasion, it's actually bomb, and that's how you find out. Like I said, I've got all this written down from about 20 years ago. Bomb. God, I love the sound of that. Bomb. I'm so angry. Like a walking time, I'm waiting to explode. So, keycard 65. It just goes to shake country put by a cover. And we've got the elemental material. That's the important bit. Why would I do something like this, you ask? Revenge, of course. Shinra's been torturing me forever. That's why I was a little rough on you all down. Let's go up there and make them really suffer. That ought to teach them. Okay, elemental is really freaking important. I'll tell you why. It allows you to either... It allows you to add an element to your weapon or your armor. So, elemental uh, on your armor allows you to drain... Um, certain amounts of damage from that particular element. And with... Um, if you equip it to a weapon, it'll allow you to dish out that kind. So if we equip it onto Cloud's uh, armor, uh, it will now absorb certain amounts of fire damage, or it become resistant to it. Which is really, really freaking handy. And Barrett, we're going to give cover because he's got a lot of HP. And I'm going to cure everybody up. Okay. If you don't get it on the first go, he will give you more attempts. Don't worry about that, but the elemental materia is very important. So it's worth grabbing. Okay, so we've got to go to floor 65, because that's the only one we can open at this point. Some sort of gym on this floor 64. Oh, we've got an encounter right here. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, okay, Sordipedes. These are interesting. These are actually one of the bosses from the remake, so, um... Okay, I think Clouds have been, um, berserked, because his limit breaks bar has gone, like, pink. Like, like, well, more like a red. Pretty sure he's been hit with Berserk. I think that's what the uh, Sword of Beast do. Or Fury. I think it might be Fury, because Berserk means you attack automatically. Whereas um, Berser uh, Fury means that your um, limit break bar goes up faster, I think. Yeah, Fury and Barrett has as well. So we're going to use uh, a Trank on Cloud to get rid of that. Oh, okay, yeah, this is this is quite interesting actually. Okay, so there are model. There's a model of Midgar here, and there's model parts all over the place. So we need to find them. 
and these chests will open. There we go. So you get the Midgar parts, and then you have to put them in this model, and then basically... Another lock will open. So this is where it can get quite tricky, because you get some really nasty encounters here. And obviously you've got to keep going backwards and forwards, that was just lucky. But you can't get the next parts until you've got... Um, until you've inserted the current part. You can't carry more than one. Which is really irritating because, like I said, there's some really nasty encounters here. And if you don't know which boxes you're going for, it can get pretty, um, pretty interesting. Now, the version I'm playing actually does have a feature where you can turn off random encounters, but I'm not going to use that because I want it to be as close to the original as possible. I'm only using the um, speed up just to save time. Okay, what we got? We got new enemies or is it the same? They're the same, so we'll speed it up. Damn, Barrett, what's going on? Oh, that's the Fury, probably. I think Fury, it does increase your bar faster, but it also means you got, you're more likely to miss because you're just angry, I guess. Okay. Okay, that should be the box on the right that's opened up. Pretty sure you're safe in the rooms as well. Okay, that's locked. There's probably one up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay, these should be the last bits now. I'm not sure what's in that last chest. I think it might be a key card. We've been really good with the encounter rate, actually. We've only had two fights while we've been here. Yeah. Now, it looks like there's meant to be a thing here, but it's not. That's uh, Sector 7, and that was obviously destroyed by Shinra quite recently. Kick card 66. There we go. Okay, it's like some sort of um, meetings going on. Okay, we need to listen in on that, so we're going to go to the bathroom. Now, if you've been watching my remake one, uh, you'll know what this part's all about. Jeez, that's a lot of suits. We've had the damage estimates for Sector 7. Considering those factories we already set up uh, and all the investments, the damages are estimated at approximately 10 billion gil. The estimated cost to rebuild Sector 7 is... We're not rebuilding. What? We're leaving Sector 7 as it is and restarting the Neo Midgar plan. Then the Ancients. The Promised Land will soon be ours. I want you to raise the Marco rates by 15% in every area. Price hike, price hike, tra -la, la please include the space program in the budget. Sorry, I just had this impression of Palmer's voice sounding like that. Reva Scarlet will divide the extra income from the, uh, from the rate increase. Oh, man. Sir, so if you raise the rates, people will lose confidence. It'll be alright. The ignorant citizens won't lose confidence. They'll trust Shinra Inc. even more. <laughs> After all, we're the ones who saved Sector 7 from Avalanche. That dirty... Unmentionable. Ooh, who's this? Hojo, how's the girl? As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing her to her mother, Ifalna, but for now the difference is 18%. How long will the research take? Probably 120 years. It's probably impossible to finish in our lifetime. Or in the lifetime of the specimen, too, for that matter. That's why we're thinking of breeding her. Then we could create one that will withstand our research for a long time. What about the Promised Land? Won't it hinder our plans? That's what, we're, what I need to plan. The mother is strong and yet has her weaknesses. So that's Hojo. 
That concludes our meeting. Palmer just running off. Do -do -do -do. Something stinks. And that's Scarlet. That's head of weapons uh, development, I think. They were talking about Ares, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow them. So we're gonna back up. Yeah, so that's Hojo. And we remember Hojo is the uh, sort of bit of a weirdo, isn't he? He's a bit of a... Bit of a, bit of a nerd, bit of a lab nerd. I'm gonna follow... Hojo, huh? Okay, let's follow him. Get out of the way, woman. He went up. Oh man, we're gonna sneak up behind him. He's left the door open. I remember him. That Hojo guy who's in charge of the Shinra Science Department. Cloud, don't you know him? This is the first time I've ever actually seen him. So that's what he looks like. Can we like hurry up and get through the door? There's enemies running around? What's going on? What the hell? Leave at once. Uh, no. Oh, it's like a warning board, I think. Awesome. Alright, let's keep going. We've got to follow Hojo. Is this today's specimen? Yes, we're starting right away. Raise it to the upper level. My precious specimen. I'm sorry, but how does he not see us? I suppose he's a bit preoccupied, but even so. What is it? Precious specimen? Is this going to be used for a biological experiment? I spotted this. Genova. Oh man, that, this used to freak me out when I was a kid. Like, proper freak me out. Like, I used to close my eyes, it was that scary. Like, and the music as well, it was just like, what is going on? Genova. Sephiroth. So, they brought it here? Cloud, be strong. Did you see it? See what? It's moving, still alive. Where's its head? The whole thing's stupid. Let's keep going. Okay. Let's grab this. Poison material. Okay, this is important as well. Remember that elemental material we picked up earlier? We're gonna, we're gonna want that. Let's just put it that way. Okay, let's heal up because chances are it's only gonna get hairier from here. Have we got any ethers? Yes, we do. Oh, we got a tent. I didn't even see that. It's annoying. Keep doing it. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, we're here. Okay. Eris. Oh, is that her name? What do you want? We're taking Eris back. Outsiders. Should have noticed it earlier, you. There's so many frivolous things in this world. Are you going to kill me? I don't think you should. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who could operate it? Hmm? That's right. I recommend you think things out logically before you make any rash moves. Now bring in the specimen. Oh damn, they're going to bring that thing up with Eris? Oh damn, man. Oh, this is not going to end well. Do, do. Cloud, help. What do you think you're doing? Lending a helping hand to an endangered species. Both of them are on the brink of extinction. If I don't help, all these animals will disappear. Animal, that's terrible. Yeah, it's a human being. You're going to pay. Alright, can you do anything? Oh, I step back. What are you doing? Oh, my precious specimens. Oh, damn, he's like mauling Ojo, whoever it is. Thanks, Cloud. Cloud, what's wrong? The elevator is moving. This is no ordinary specimen. This is a very ferocious specimen. He's rather strong. I'll help you all out. It talked? I'll talk as much as you want later, miss. We'll take care of that monster. Somebody take Aeris somewhere safe. Uh, we'll get rid of Tifa, I think. What's your name? Hojo has named me Red13, a name with absolutely no meaning whatsoever. Call me whatever you wish. And we're going to keep that name, so it's quite cool. Come on. Boss time! And unlike the remake, we get to actually play as Red13, which is lovely. Right. I'm actually going to focus on these guys. Yeah, Shady Breath's a pain. Hit everything with fire. Nice. Okay, you don't want to use Bio on him because he's going to... Um... He's just going to absorb it straight away. Yeah, let's get rid of these chaps. Yeah, Red's a really cool character. Okay, we're not going to waste big shot on the little guys. Let's get rid of these little guys. Nice. Oh, he's gonna bring him back. They don't panic, these guys don't actually have 2,000 HP, it's just the amount that they heal. I'll be honest, I might just give up with these and let's just go with him. Cure, bar it up. Oh, this boss's name is Sample, by the way. He was in the remake, but uh, he was a bit different there. He's not that strong. He's pretty good, but he's not, like, 
Oh my god, it's unbelievable. And yeah, those little guys are dangerous, but to be honest, by the time you've killed them, he's bringing them back, so there's absolutely no point. Seems to be really hammering Barrett at the moment. Another big shot. That fury is coming in handy. That's it. Done. Not too bad at all. Talisman. Okay, that's an accessory. It's one of our first as well. Eris, are you alright? She seems alright in many ways. I have a right to choose too. I don't like two-legged things. What are you? An informed question, but difficult to answer. I am what you see. You must have many questions, but first let's get out of here. I'll lead the way. Cloud, so you did come for me. I apologize for what happened back there. I was merely acting to throw Hojo off guard. Now we've saved Ares, there ain't no need to be in this building, so let's get the hell out of here. If all five of us go together, we'll be noticed. Let's break into two groups. Excellent. So we're going to keep the group as it is, I think, because I want to keep Red 13 with us for a while. Um, so he's got a fire and all and sense. It comes with a piece of sense material. I'm going to put uh, Tifa back in my party because I want to get rid of her um, materia for now. And then we'll put Red 13 back in. Red 13 is now a permanent part of the party. Let's give him steel and... I don't want to load him up too much. We'll give Barrett ice. I'll see you later. We'll be waiting at the 66th floor elevator. We'll be going first. Meet at the 66th floor elevator. Yeah, we, we heard that. Alright, let's grab that material, whatever it is. Enemy skill. This is important. You want this. And equip it instantly. Um, because if an enemy uses a certain um, ability on you, you have... The, 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 there are certain abilities you can learn. Which is really cool. Now, we're going to go back downstairs for the time being and save and this my friends is going to be the end of the episode we've been going for about an hour and that is going to be that i really do hope you're still enjoying final fantasy 7 guys and i really hope you continue watching with us um and uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think so far and uh, what your uh, what your thoughts of the of the classic game are until the next time guys i will see you next time